In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of a Pokemon market update. We're going to be covering everything from sealed booster boxes like you see here to singles, and we're going to cover a wide variety. So we're just going to jump straight into it. Obviously, this is Twilight Masquerade, and if we look at the chart here, three-month chart up 28%. Twilight's still just doing its thing, leading the Scarlet and Violet era for the most part. It's kind of like about to overtake Paldea, possibly, as the most expensive box. Obviously, it has the most expensive card, but honestly... It's just crazy. You can see that the sales are coming down. Obviously, the price comes up, the sales come down a little. That makes sense, uh, but they're still selling boxes, right? You can see in the past um, one month, 500 boxes. So interesting, the popularity of Twilight is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, I'll be very interested to see how this set ends up doing after we get uh, the Surging Sparks, we get the Team Rocket. I wanna see where Twilight kind of settles out and where the Greninja settles out. Uh, next up, speaking of Greninja, we'll just touch on him real quick. The Frogman himself. Uh, obviously, still on the one-month chart because he had a little bit uh, more of a run-up. It's showing 28%, but the reason I brought this up is because it looks like Greninja's kind of leveled out, and then I just found that a little interesting. You can see right here, he just barely peaked over 300 um, not that long ago, and then he kind of just had a little bit dip down into the 290s and is holding pretty good just in that 290 mark so the market kind of was like whoa hold on this is not this is not a 300 dollars card we're not we're not doing that and so you bounce off that 300 dollars mark it's kind of at an interesting point here just i kind of want to see is it because i feel like if it cracks 300 and then continues to rise i think that there's going to be room to move but uh i can understand there's like the mental aspect of like because me personally, I don't own this card, and I don't, I wouldn't want to spend three hundred on it, um, personally. So I would just, I yeah, that three hundred dollars, something about cracking. When every time you crack a hundred dollar mark, it just, it's a mental thing. So, uh, yeah, I can understand why people are resist, hesitant to not get this card um, at at the three hundred dollar price point. So, that totally makes sense to me. Uh, I also just want to touch on the EV real quick. I think TCG players are a little messed up right now on their chart because they're showing no items sold for a while, and I think I don't think that's the case. So, but I just wanted to kind of touch on, well, we can pull up the more data here real quick. Okay, so this is gonna tell the true story. So Eevee has come down a little bit. We'll have to do our own charting here. Uh, down into like the $47, $48 range, it looks like. So if we were going to uh, look at this chart here, yeah, so this has come down a little bit. I, I thought this was leveling out, but obviously without those sales, um, it has dropped down a little. So uh, this chart is not accurate. So we're going to just move past this. Next up, okay, I just wanted to talk about this. I made a video about this a while ago, guys. And we're, I'm going to touch on all the points, okay? 151 booster bundles. This is what they're going for. They're on a little bit of a decline because they've been coming in stock a lot of places. So these were at $52. Now they're down to 46 The reason is because, like I said, people are getting their hands on them. But this is what I wanted to talk about, okay? I was getting a lot of uh, comments in the last video um, when I was saying that these were in stock. We're going to address it all right now. I'm just going to clear the air, okay? First off, you guys don't have to buy these, okay? But if you want to, as of this recording, this is Tuesday, August 27th, uh, just before 9.30. I'm going to upload this immediately afterwards, okay? These are the booster bundles. This is walmart.com, okay? $29.99. This is what you're going to see when you click on it or when you find the link. That it's going to say sold and shipped by GT Collectibles and Toys with two out of five star reviews. In my last video, I said, and I didn't emphasize it enough, only get the sold and shipped by Walmart. If you guys want to purchase from GT Collectibles, go ahead. Like, that's on you. Um, some people have vouched for them. Uh, and also, before we go any further, if you guys want to be up to date, on when these are coming back in stock, like the poster collection and this, and there's other stuff. You got a pretty good Discord going on, so if you wanna join, the link is in the description. You guys can get those notifications right away because uh, the Discord group is on it. So thank you guys to everyone in the Discord. But this is what I'm getting at. So this is a little bit deceiving because there are third-party sellers on Walmart, like GT Collectibles. So I, I don't know if they just have a bad rap or what, but I would not I would never buy from anyone with this. So, But if you click on other options from 2898, we're gonna load it up here. 
and that just went out of stock. So these just went out of stock again as I was recording this video, but they've been popping in and out. So the point I'm trying to get is if you want to stay notified uh, and you don't want to buy from GT Collectibles and Toys, join the Discord so you can stay up to date because people are we're on it in the Discord. But what you guys can see, it's not going to show right here, but if you click on this, this is kind of uh, what it was doing before. It's just not showing it right now, okay? It was showing sold and shipped by Walmart for $28.98, and you were able to click and add it in here. And it, why it wasn't showing up as the first option in here, I have no idea. But that's where we're at. It's still, it's happening. They're coming, it's been coming in and out of stock all morning. So if you guys want to stay up to date, that's the 151 booster bundle thing. No, it was not fake. No, I was not lying. No, I was not scamming anybody. Uh, I never said to buy from GT Collectibles. I know it's weird that Walmart does that. But anyways, they do, they have third-party sellers on there. So if Walmart goes out of stock, then it lists the third-party seller as the neck, as just, they just bump them into the slot. So, um, yeah, I should have clarified that maybe a little bit more. But anyways, that's the deal with it. It was just available, like, just a second ago. Um, it just went out of stock again. But it'll probably come back in. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, that's that. But we'll look at some more 151. We got the Elite Trainer boxes still just on the climb, which is just crazy. We'll just touch on this just for a second. 73 bucks. It came down a little. It was at 75, but now it looks like it's on a little bit of an uptick again. Most recent sale at 77, and the listed uh, median price is 77 dollars. So yeah, two at 77. So uh, this is on the uptick. Once again, 151, doing crazy things. We'll touch on the Charizard real quick. It hasn't moved a lot. Once it did its little move up right here, up 16%, it kind of just kind of leveled out in this little range from like 126, and it's around 124 now. Just holding strength, looking strong. Charizard saw lots of these at the, I was just at the Burbank card show. Tons of 151, it was crazy. Uh, lots of Charizards. It was tough to find a lot of 151s actually. Next up, we have Paldean Fates, which has, it's kind of like a sleeper set from Scarlet and Violet, honestly. The uh, the card values are really up. Like, you can see the ETB price, we're up 10% on the last three months. Could have had this for sub 40 not that long ago. And now we're at 43 bucks. But, once again, this is something I like to look at. The listed median price right here is around 50. So, I would expect to see this kind of start to get on an uptick again just because that's that's what they're priced at. So there's 49 sellers, right? So, and they're, that's the average price. Uh, if we pull up here, last sale was around closer to $44. So the Palais and Fates ETBs might be on a little bit of an uptick. And we'll take a look at one of the cards. I saw this card at the show um, a few times. Very popular Pokemon, the Bubble Mew. Now this, in the one month chart, it's looking real good. The three month, it's not looking as good because you can see it it was up, it dipped down all the way down to 75, which is kind of wild. And now we're seeing that climb back up from 75 up to $90. So 21% in the last month. Bubble Me is getting some attention, deservedly so. In that, yeah, that is looking good. I had a lot of sales on TCG Player on August 6th. Yeah, and it just steadily climbed. It's on a little bit of a decline right here. Off of off of $95, back down to 90. If we pull up, uh, recent recent sales are about 90, so that is tracking. So, yeah, that is what the Bubble Mew is doing. Next up, we're going to just take a brief look at Evolving Skies ETB. Now, I wanted to take a look at this because of this little jump up right here. It's not huge, but it's got a, it's got a jump up right here. 10% on the three-month chart. If we pull up the one-month, you know, here's that spike right here. It's only 2.5%. And there's not a lot of these that are sold. They are expensive. You know, the more expensive, the less sales that there are. 55 over the last month, but it's looking good on that three-month chart. Pull up the six-month chart. I mean, look, steady climb, 43%. The one-year, 58%. So, Evolving Skies uh, ETB just climbs, just climbs. The booster box is kind of a little bit stagnant. It's having a hard time moving. And that makes sense because of how expensive it is. But the ETBs... Honestly, might be might be good pickups just because it's just that thing of the booster box is too expensive. What's the next best thing? Elite Trainer Box. So a lot of people are going to be doing that. So it's just good to know. It's good to see this, just this steady growth. And same thing, like it had its little run up right here, came back down. Had a little run up, came back down a little, run up. And so uh, very healthy growth on the Elite Trainer Box. 
Uh, and here's the booster box here. Just since we uh, just talk, talked on that. Um, but yeah, two down 2% two on the three month. Um, pretty much even on the one month. Now the six month chart, only up 11%. You get into the one year, you can see 49%. Crazy to think that you could have gotten these for 400 bucks last year. But yeah, it's pretty much, it kind of bounced off that $700 dollar mark and the market was like 700 is too much. I'm kind of surprised, honestly, that it hasn't broken through that 700. I thought that this box was going to keep moving. But I think a lot of people probably are selling out of their positions. And it's just going to take a while to eat, eat those up because they're so expensive, like 43 sold in the last month. So uh, excited to see where this box can go in the future. But right now it's pretty much flat. Now we have the Roaring Moon, Paradox Rift. Uh, one of my favorite cards from... Uh, not my favorite from like the whole era, the Scarlet and Violet era, but it's definitely up there. I really like... I like the Pokemon. I love the Scream Tails running um, and screaming. So uh, I love this card a lot. And yeah, 8% on the one month chart. So it's looking good. It's nice to see... I've, I've talked about Paradox in the past. It's nice to see some Paradox cards moving. Three month chart, it's down a little. So we're on a little bit of an uptick now. This was 55 bucks, and now we're up. We're about to crack 60. Although most recent sale right here does show 65 dollars. So looks like Roaring Moon might be on uh, a little bit more of a run up there. So we'll see. We'll see where this card can end up. Paradox uh, undervalued set. Roaring Moon undervalued chase card, in my opinion. Next up, we have Stellar Crown. I just wanted to touch on this. Just the numbers, really. In the last month, and obviously, you know, new set coming out, but I just kind of wanted with the Surging Sparks, you know, a lot of people are saying, and we don't know yet, that Surging Sparks looks like it's going to be really good, better than Stellar Crown, and it probably is, but we don't know for sure. We haven't gotten all the cards announced, but people are still gobbling these up, the Stellar Crown boxes, uh, 106 pretty much a box. You can see the sales numbers here, 50, 57 boxes a day. In the last month, 691. So Stellar Crown, still looking like people are interested in it. Uh, it has slowed down a little bit right here, but this is this is just because this was just the other day. I don't know if their sales data is up to date all fully yet. Could be, but that would be a big drop off. But so we don't know yet. We'll have to come back to that later. But a lot of boxes being sold. People still interested in Stellar Crown. Next up, we have Shrouded Fable. Now this set, unfortunately. <laughs> really came out at a bad time and was kind of a little bit subpar there's a, a few cards in here that i really like and we'll touch on that in a second but this is kind of usually what we used to see a lot in the scarlet violet era for a while so that comes out you know you get the etb at 55 which by the way these like just released so there was that delay but uh 40 bucks climbed back up and now they're tanking back down into the 30s real quick so um yeah, that's the three-month chart. The one-month chart, you can see. Here was the run, the run-up. I think this was like when they were coming out, and now they're out, thirty-six bucks. Um, so yeah, Shrouded Fable, not looking like the best set so far. I do think it's a fun set. It's just not particularly very good. We'll take a look at the Cass Cassiopeia from Shrouded Fable. You can see, obviously, like it came out the gate. Yeah, this is not, maybe not a fair uh, comparison. It's not really down sixty-one percent. But uh, somebody did buy this at 200 when it first came out, which is kind of interesting. So, yeah, I'm going to say we don't really count that. I'm going to say it starts more around 135, which would be 30% down. And, yeah, you can see it's it's come down into the 80s, 70s. Seems like it's holding strong there in the $70 range, so uh, that is interesting. But, yeah, this is traditionally what we see when the sets come out. The prices are high, and they all come down. Uh, Twilight Masquerade has kind of been the exception to that rule, which has been interesting to see. Next up, we have the Persian, which this was one of my cards that I want. I don't have this card yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait it out, see how low this can go because we look at this chart. Same thing here. It was around 40, 42 bucks, and it's slowly coming down, coming down, 26 bucks. I do want this card. I'll probably pick it up later. Wait for it to be more affordable, but. Uh, like this card a lot, the Persian. So, yeah, it's it's unfortunate. This set could have been better. They could have included some more dark Pokemon. They could have done it better. It, but it's a smaller set. So, um, but yeah, I mean, if these cards go down, I'll scoop up the few I want and we'll move on. No worries. 
Houndoom. Uh, this one's this chart. Oh, these charts are all messed up when they first come out. I say that this came out at twenty five. It was at twenty five bucks, and it's pretty much hold steady. It's just down a little bit, down to twenty two. So that is interesting. It's holding strong. So uh, this is my favorite card from the set. Just wanted to touch on on Houndoom, give him some love. So yeah, Houndoom, um, doing okay. This chart, ignore these numbers. <laughs> That's not accurate. Then we have Paldea Evolved. I wanted to touch on this, the booster boxes, because we touched on Twilight earlier. I think the Twilight one was around like 131, like low 130s. And I just think it's interesting because Paldea, for a while now, has been like, this is the top box of the set. And it's kind of on a little bit of a decline right now, just a little bit, not much, from 137, 136 down to the 135 range. And at some point, I feel like Twilight is going to overtake Paldea. It's just like a matter of time. And, you know, I think, um, if I'm being honest, I think Paldea is a much a better set overall. But I just think that Greninja is just too strong. So this is be something I'll be watching uh, closely. 150 uh, average uh, listed median price. So that tells me that these should continue to go up. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, yeah, just the Paldea versus Twilight. Uh for the best set is kind of interesting. Speaking of Paldea, we'll just touch on the Magikarp real quick. Uh, I love this card, by the way. If you guys didn't notice, it's my channel. Uh, the Gyarados part of it is my channel uh, icon. But only up 8% over the past three months. Pull up the one month chart, it's pretty much neutral, down 1.4%. Uh, but what I like about this is the Magikarp's just shown strength. 115, $116 range. The market's decided this is what this card's worth. So, um, which is crazy that a Magikarp is worth that much, honestly, just because of like Gen 1 Pokemon, but Magikarp. Anyways, um, I know that the Shining, Ma we've had Shining Magikarps in the past worth a lot and stuff. So, you know, it doesn't, it's not the most shocking, but I just, yeah, I don't know. It's a cool card. I just wanted to sh show that it's holding strong. Next up, we're just going to take a quick look at Fusion Strike down 4.8% on the three month chart. So we're down into the 230 range and the listed median price is 245. So will this be coming up? We don't know. Not a ton of sales. Obviously these boxes get more expensive um, at the dip. Once these dipped, we saw an increase in sales. So people were gobbling up that little bit of a dip. But yeah, Fusion Strike just on its way down kind of a little bit. And this next box here, Lost Origin, it's kind of doing a little bit of the opposite. It's on its way up. It got hit hard with that little that restock that came in uh, a while ago, but we can see we can probably pull up when that was. I think it was right after this. Um, Cause yeah, it was at 220. The restock came and it went down to 180. Anyways, what would I like seeing is it's on its way up. I've been very vocal in the past about Lost Origin. I do think that this is. I think just because of the Giratina alone. That this is going to end up being the number two box from Sword and Shield, very much could be wrong, but I think that this is going to pass Fusion Strike. So I just think we're at an interesting point. You see the listed median price at two hundred forty-nine dollars. Take a look at Fusion Strike; it's two forty-five. At some point, will we see these cross and Lost Origin take over? I think that Fusion Strike is probably a better set overall, but I have something about the Giratina. So interesting there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you think that. Lost Origin can overtake Fusion Strike in box price. Now we have some Pokemon Center uh, stuff I just wanted to touch on again. Silver Tempest, still in stock on the Pokemon Center. 143 a box. Purchase limit of four. Uh, I think you, when you go over to TCG Player, I still say that this is a good buy because they're going for once in the 160s. And just keep in mind, though, that if you do purchase from the Pokemon Center, they're known for their packaging to not be very good they kind of just anyways your boxes could come maybe a little dinged it depends they could have fixed that by now i don't know but last i heard that's kind of bad packaging so yeah i'm still surprised that this is still in stock if i'm being completely honest i thought people would have gobbled this up but to be fair the market really moved away from sword and shield again uh it was like sword and shield heavy it was just like one set after the next the dominoes kept falling and we were like, gobble up this set, and now gobble up this set, and now gobble up this set. And, you know, uh, Silver Tempest kind of got lost in that it was like the last one, and people moved on. 
back to Scarlet and Violet after that. So yeah, uh, I still think it's a good buy. Silver Tempest with the Lugia will do well long term because that chase card is great. Not the strongest set, but next up we have I think this this just came back into stock recently. Battle Styles, uh, one forty three a box. Now this on the Pokemon Center doesn't really make sense right now because while Battle Styles is a cool set because it introduced alt arts. And I think it's still kind of underrated. I'd like it. But if you go over here, TCG player, you could be picking these up in the 120s. So this might be on uh, Pokemon Center for a while, which would be interesting to see uh, with this little restock what happens. So yeah, Battle Styles. If you're going to pick up Battle Styles, one of the weaker sets to invest in. But uh, if you're going to pick it up, don't get it on the Pokemon Center. Um, obviously, it's more expensive. Last up, Vivid Voltage back in stock as well on the Pokemon Center. Same price, 143 but you go over to... Uh, then This one's a little bit closer on TCG Player. It's just on a little bit of an uptick right here. You can see 136 uh, sales, and you can see actually some... This is on its way up. So 147 147 So this box, once this comes above this MSRP, which looks like it might be happening soon, then if you're looking to pick up some Vivid... Uh, maybe check out the Pokemon Center. You can see the uh, purchase limit difference here. They must have a lot. Purchase limit of 24. So that's kind of wild. What was the Battle Styles one? Doesn't say. Okay. So yeah. Vivid Voltage 24. So that's kind of interesting. Um, that is going to do it for this one, guys. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit, just a broad market update, sealed product, singles, kind of just give my insights on everything. Um, the market is the market, the Pokemon card community, everything is super strong. It's super healthy. I see, uh, I, like I said, I just went to that card show and it always is great to see, you see all the kids, you see how much money is moving, you see deals being made, you see what people are buying. Uh, like I said, 151 still, I'm just going to say it one last time. 151 was crazy. So many people trying to master set, including myself. Couldn't find an Ammonite IR anywhere in the building. 151 is extremely popular. And yeah, it's interesting. I think we, the market, the market is at, I still think, uh, besides like 151 stuff, I think is at a little bit of a standstill. We don't know. It's like, we don't know. We're waiting to pounce with Surging Sparks coming up, with Team Rocket coming up. Uh, we're waiting for these epic sets that we're hoping are amazing. We still don't know that Surging Sparks is going to be what we hope it is because we haven't seen all the cards announced. Once we get that announcement of everything that we know that we're going to get, then it'll be a little bit easier to you know, know that that is a great set. And we have no idea what the Team Rocket is going to be. It's possible that they butcher that set and they don't do it justice. I don't think that they will, but that is possible. So a lot of people saving their money. A lot of people... Um, I've heard a lot of comments, and justifiably so, people saying, forget Seller Crown, Surging Sparks. And I totally understand, totally get it. But, hear me out, Would, wouldn't that be interesting if a lot of people passed on Stellar Crown, went hard into Surging Sparks, which would make sense, I don't blame anybody, but if Stellar Crown maybe doesn't get reprinted, because it didn't have as much demand over time and then it's just like less product out there and it just kind of got overlooked and then if surging sparks is really great gets a reprint or something uh, you know and then stellar crown because it was short shortly printed ends up doing better just saying that that's a possibility um it's it's wild you never know what's what or what isn't going to get reprinted so um i'm going to stop rambling this is a long video thank you guys so much for watching and if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously, you enjoyed the content. So do yourself a favor, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave me a comment below uh, letting me know what you, what product or cards you saw from here that you are picking up or are chasing. And that will do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.